he's not a big hugger. Uh, neither is Johnny Manziel, eh, John? Apparently. Uh, the Browns quarterback, who is, you know, a second stringer, third stringer, whatever you want to call him, he got involved in a little dust-up, you, you could say, with him and his friends. Allegedly. Allegedly. And another group of, of men. Uh, big Browns fans, apparently. Yeah, they were big Browns fans. They were very excited to see Johnny Manziel. And uh, a guy tried to hug him, you know, show his respect, and it turned into uh, an altercation where one of Johnny Manziel's friends uh, apparently sucker punched uh, this fan. So, uh, I, Johnny, I don't know if it's just too much attention and some of these things just escalate because, I mean, if I had people come up to me all the time, I don't know how happy I would be about hugging a random person, but that's just me. And, I mean, celebrities deal with it all the time, so maybe Johnny's just got to figure it out. He may not be seeing a lot of action on the field. Definitely lots of offer. It's pretty cool being a multi-million dollar NHL player. What's not cool is letting your parents take over your money and then now you're bankrupt. That's what happened with Jack Johnson. Yeah, the, the Columbus Blue Jackets defenseman is in serious financial trouble. Uh, he dumped his agent a few years ago and put his parents in charge of his money. Which makes a lot of sense. It really does, you know. They're really, they should be the most trustworthy people in your life. You think and, so. And then, but now, uh, with Johnson, it's it's put him in some serious hot water with banks, and he's bankrupt. And it, a lot of people are pointing pointing their finger at, at the parents and, and how they mismanaged his money and really have, have left him there with, with a lot of problems. And, I mean, like we were just saying, you think you would trust your parents to handle your money correctly and guide you in the right direction. This is a lesson, all you young OHL players, when you make the millions, maybe don't trust your parents. Now John, I played goalie growing up, but I never had the luxury of having my jaw cracked by a shot. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't happen too often. You gotta be at a high level of hockey, right? Oh, is that what you're saying? I didn't play a high maybe, level of hockey? Maybe, maybe not. But anyways, the shot has to be relatively fast and hard and from a guy with a lot of muscle. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens at the NHL level. So the actual jock breaking is not huge news, but Brian Elliott decided to show it over Twitter. And, uh, you know, it was an interesting photo, uh, but he didn't provide really any context because he just hashtagged a bunch of things, maybe one or two or three or four or five things. And it just became really confusing because everyone's like, so what happened, Brian? You're just, you're just hashtagging. Yeah, way to go. Zero context, Brian. <laughs> Well, that's it for this week. Make sure you check out Sun Sites across Canada or canoe.ca for more. This trampoline's a lot of fun. <laughs> you, uh, Woo! You're gonna pull Brian Elliott there, man. You, you're gonna crack your jock. Crack my How do you know I wear a jock to work? <laughs>